Hi, this is Richard Silverstein, author of Tikkun Olam. There's big news today. Um, back in 2010, I reported in Tikkun Olam that Israel had arrested an unidentified individual and imprisoned him in total secrecy in an Israeli jail. He was essentially disappeared. The cell he occupied had once con uh, contained Yigal Amir. Even this man's jailers didn't know who he was. They apparently did a lousy job of monitoring prisoner X, as he was called, and he hung himself from a bar in his cell. In December 2010, the Australian Jewish media reported that a Ben Zeiger had died in Israel and was to be buried in Melbourne's Jewish cemetery. There was little spoken about the cause of his death. Now, Australia's ABC network blows open the story. Prisoner X was a Mossad agent named Ben Zeiger, age 34, with two small children and an Israeli wife. Yossi Melman, reporting in Vala, says no one knows why he was imprisoned, but that it must have involved a crime that endangered the existence of the state of Israel. That's a pretty hefty sentence, even for security-obsessed Israel. This has to mean that he was involved in an act considered treason, perhaps possibly involving selling secrets to an enemy power. Jonathan Pollard comes to mind in the US context. The ABC report makes clear that Zeiger was essentially disappeared by security forces. That's common for Palestinians charged with security offenses, but extraordinary for an Israeli Jew. One of the few previous incidents that is comparable is the disappearance and imprisonment of KGB spy Marcus Klingberg by Israel for over 10 years. Clearly, Zeiger did something akin to the crimes of which Klingberg was accused. The ABC report says that Zeiger also used his Australian passports in the, per in the process of his espionage efforts. This report says that he also had an Australian passport under the name of a Ben Allen. As Australian Foreign Minister Bob Carr noted, this would violate numerous Australian laws. It also brings to mind the case of Mahmoud al Mabu, in which Australian passports of Australian Israeli citizens were used by the Mossad to create fake passports for Israeli agents who assassinated the Hamas weapons merchant. This incident caused an enormous amount of embarrassment for Israel among all the Western governments whose citizens were exploited. Ben Zeiger was the son of Jeffrey Zeiger, the executive director of the Victoria Jewish Community Council and one of the leaders of the Melbourne Jewish community. The family and the deceased's friends all refused to cooperate with the ABC broadcast, as did Israeli reporters who were, who were approached. The case raises extraordinary questions for the Israeli government. What did it know about this when it happened? Given that Zeiger was likely an undercover spy, it would appear Australia was limited in what it could do. But how often do you have a country's citizens imprisoned in secret in another country only to commit suicide there? This just begs 1,000 questions in terms of what the Kevin Rudd government knew and when it knew it. The case will also drive further wedges between Australia and Israel in that it will show that the Mossad continues to abuse the passports of its allies. Israel also, according to Australian authorities, neglected to notify it that an Australian citizen's, citizen was jailed and had died in Israeli custody. This is a minimal standard that all nations adhere to in such circumstances. Indeed, Haaretz's main headline today is Prime Minister's office convenes urgent meeting of media editors. Purpose, to request common action in preventing the publication of the embarrassing story. Government source, the invitation arose from exposure of the details this morning abroad. This has been Richard Silverstein of Tikkun Olam. Thanks for listening.